Hello everyone and welcome back to Prison Architect. As always, we are gaming by Gaslight. I believe we read up on these guys. Yeah, we read on these guys when we were last in here. So, we'll just let that go about. We should probably work on getting the utilities hooked up. Now, let's see. How do I have this set up? Alright, so yellow is controlling all this and this. So, green will control all of this. Also, apparently... Despite my concerns about water setting things off, I did in fact build it in a kind of silly fashion. Let's see, we'll build down like this. Uh, this needs a door on it. Hmm. Using the planning tool, this is nine squares away. There's something bumping up against that. So let's see here. Nine squares. I should probably mark this, shouldn't I? Oh. <laughs> There's the army of janitors. Yeah, considering they have to go through here... Wait, didn't I unlock all these doors? Oh, I unlocked over there, but not over here. Okay. I am tempted to leave this unlocked, but I think I won't for the time being. Also, I'm going to put some staff-only doors here. Yeah, let's see here. Yeah. And it's staff-only anyway, but might as well make sure the doors are in fact staff-only. Okay, so. Keep time rolling. Oh. There we are. And objects. Because symmetry is rather important. You know what? I think we might need a few more guards. I and ultimately, we're going to have a population of 200, so one guard for every four prisoners, I guess that's a good ratio. Oop. Also, I just want to pause for a second and look under intelligence. Do we have any... In anyone? No. What do we know about these guys? Like, We did catch that one guy, yeah, the one guy who's ex-law enforcement, but we don't know about this guy, we don't know about this guy... And we do have people who are, you know, they don't know. We don't know much about them. Let's keep time at two while we're just sort of ticking along. Um, what did I want to do? Oh yeah, policy. Right? Yeah. Yeah, we can have, we can have some more solitary stuff. I'm tempted. You know what? Intoxication will also be worth solitary. It'll be three hours. This stuff will be nine hours. Like, it'll be most of a day. Okay, because they do get fed, they just won't get sleep or hygiene or... What's going on over here? Oh, right. Okay, this... Could be locked open, right? Maybe? Now I should probably put a one of these in there. So let's go into utilities, door servo, and bloop. And we'll just hook it up to the network. That way, uh, this dude on the door control can handle everything here. We might eventually need another door control. Can someone move that box? Oh, it's because this is all still marked as storage. Okay. So we have storage there. I also put garbage and exports here so that hopefully the those vehicles will like park down here, which will keep the lines moving a little bit. That's my dream, anyway. Okay. Now, oh, for the love of... I mean, these doors are going to be locked open, anyway. Okay, we'll keep the doors locked open. Dash it all. Okay, keep time ticking along. Now let's grab the clone tool and start cloning. Yes. Oh, also, uh, something I feel the need to mention in this episode, and better I mention it sooner rather than later, is that my real life schedule is going to be kind of busy for probably the next month at least. Probably longer. And all because, for some reason, all the workload in my university uh, career right now 
is being pretty much like dumped on me. Like nothing at all happened in September. But then suddenly all the work is coming in now and will presumably remain that way until the end of the semester. Personally, I find that rather annoying. I would rather a nice balanced amount of work throughout the year rather than... Did we find someone digging? No, that's got to be a false positive, but we've got to be careful. Well, it doesn't have to be a false positive. We're making assumptions here, aren't we? Yeah, let's see here. And this is... 18 by 37. And this is... 14 by 37. Okay, so what we want to do is... 37... 14. Then 2... Then 37, and... I already forgot what the width of the yard was. 18. Okay. Yes, it's gonna be... Perfect mirror image. And then this. Like that? Or like that. Now that I think about it, I should almost actually stretch all this up. Oh no, there's no one watching the cameras. Okay, now the first thing we're going to want to do before we bring in Max, guys, is of course make sure that we have this. Okay. Oh yeah, we also probably want to start bringing the utilities in. Um, yeah, I think how we'll do it is we'll bring the utilities along here like this, then like this, then like this, then down like so, across, and across again, and again, and again. You know the drill by now. Excellent, excellent. So soon we shall have a grand, glorious prison of epic proportions. Ooh, how do we... Wait, cancel you, and then just stretch you like that. Excellent. Oh yeah, yeah, and utilities. Can't forget about the utilities. Prisoners would be rather unhappy with me if I forgot the utilities. Now, I think the way we'll do this is we'll go down like this, then over. Because I want to, as best as possible, encourage anyone digging their tunnels to do so in a fashion that is beneficial to me. Yeah. And by beneficial to me, I mean it'll make it as difficult as possible for our inmates to get out. don't want them getting out. That would be bad. But it's also occasionally interesting when you have a particularly good prison break on your hands, in my opinion. Let's see here. Yeah, and we'll also want to make sure we have all these piped up before we actually let anyone in here. Because the last thing we want is for gang members to take in these cells and then be unable to actually build in them. Oh my! Look at that backup. Okay, let's see here. Rooms. Storage. We need more storage. Uh, I guess we'll just extend it all the way down here. There we go. That sort of helped to move things along. I guess another thing that might help is some more uh, staff. We can afford it, so might as well. Oh boy. Alright, let's... Uh, Let's not build anything else. Also, deliveries. There we go. We'll expand the deliveries area. 
Oh good, they magically teleported in. That will help. Sort of. Oh boy. So, uh, yeah. Also, how, how are the prisoner needs doing? Let's uh, hang around near here so we can actually see when the inmates finally get in. Look at them uniforms. Okay, needs. Needs are actually... I mean, they're all in medium, which is good, because that means that they're not too bad and that they're overall... Yeah, people are happy. Oop. Let's have that door set to be always open. Uh, this door will be always open. Eventually, I think we'll automate these things with, like, door timers so they're only open during the appropriate times of day. Hmm. More delivery and storage space, perhaps? We, we need to get these things out of here. No, that's a false alarm. At least I think it's a false alarm. I find that it... In, oh, generally, unless... We have some sacks of mail... Oh. Now what's going on? Oh, come on! A water pipe has burst and it's flooding the area. Fix it before the damage becomes too severe. Well, no, duh. Here. There. Fortunately, there's nothing really important going on over here. Alright. So, it's going to be a very, very long time before these guys get around to finishing everything. Our deployment is all proper, right? Okay, this is going to be a max sec, because that's not for... Oh boy, it's pretty much taken all day, and these guys are still not done yet. I'm also mildly regretting putting the gravel here now. Oh yeah, see, everyone's everyone's having their needs met. Okay, food is... But then again, it's almost eating time, so uh, let's look at the regime. Yeah, we get this nice well, free hours in the yard, then three hours of free time to do whatever you happen to feel like doing, then two hours of eating, and then an hour of lock-up, and then sleep, and then the day starts again. We're also making money again. Nice. Um, incidentally, more grants. Government security ratings. I don't really want armed guards yet. Crack down on drugs. Let's do that. Shakedown. It also occurs to me how... Oh! Oh! Oh, good god. I forgot to actually look at the prisoners. Uh, Frost. You... Oh, we have a, a gang member who's ex-law enforcement. Uh, you're in... Protective custody, which pretty much just means he's going to sit in the holding cell. Fearless and volatile. Dave Sickface Stewart, failed author and beat poet. Accelerated mental degeneration and a life of crime followed his failure to get his magnum opus published. He now claims to be a super anarchist, believing that today's anarchists have become too organized. Of course they have. Which for some reason reminds me, I trailed off with the whole, like, my life stuff going on in my life thing. Uh, basically all that means is that right now I'm just trying to record like a big backlog of videos that should hopefully keep like things flowing on the channel steadily for like the next week or two maybe. That's the hope anyway because I don't know. I, I kind of feel like I'm at a point where I'm sort of not sure if I like, what I'm doing with uh, school is what I really want to be doing, but I'm sort of... Uh, oh, Jack Jufro Andrews. Jufro has a long history of crime and anger problems, including but not limited to manslaughter, arson, burned down 20 churches, cannibalism, ate the six victims, public indecently, streaked through the Vatican, oh my, and excessive profanity. Lots just won't do. Tim Whiteman, oh, we've got another guy over here. Sean Wallace. Dimitri Lucifer Bellick. In high school, Dimitri moved to Australia from Russia, where he was picked on. He taught himself how to shoot, use a knife, and hack. After a string of murders, he started Terracon, a rebel group and uses hacking skills to nearly start a nuclear war. Wow. 
Real, uh, real go-getter right there. Scott Howell. Scott King. Danny Havana Jack Leo Bronski. Unconfirmed fifth generation leader of the famed Rum Rudders. Smugglers for hire. Captured in a DA op, oh, uh, DA op that went south. Resulting in several civilian and agent deaths. Fault highly in question. He's got a wife, two sons, and a daughter. Let's see. He, oh, he has an ex-wife, 25. A daughter, 7. Son, 4. Daughter, 8. Mother, 48. And father, 52. So, the bio is thing about his family is almost identical to... Yeah, except it's got the ages and things wrong. Bob the Hoss Stevens. The Hoss brutally murdered five people after he found out that his local video game store ran out of stock of battle toads. I feel like we may have had you before in one of our previous prisons. Tom Castaway Brighter. Or Brader. Stuck on an isle for several years after his battleship was sunk. After returning to society, he was arrested for illegal immigration. Poor guy. Edward Zabinski. Stephen Michael. And Daniel the Posh Guy Carpenter. Lead guitarist of Celestial Wish and unbelievably posh. All anyone knows is that someone tried to serve him Tetley tea before receiving quite severe burns. Oh my. Yeah, so anyway, as I was saying, like, I'm kind of in a situation where I'm actually, like, far more interested in what I'm doing here on the channel and in, like, other things I want to try doing in life other than, uh, <laughs> what I'm currently doing. And I guess my problem is, also, let's, uh, Take a quick look at the logistics here. Food distribution. No, 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 no. I want this canteen to be for here. Or here. Here, here. Do I not have that marked as a canteen? It's not even marked as a canteen. Okay. I want you to be split between the two. Yes. Okay. That'll probably... Yeah, that corrected itself. Right? Did it? Okay, I'm pretty sure that's corrected. Why is this one a solid red? Oh my. Now, we're finding a lot of contraband. And, uh, a lot of potential danger going on here. Uh, but overall, I'd say the prison is coming together relatively well. 115. 71 plus... Doesn't, that's still... Oh, some people are in max capacity. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Oh, we must have had people who were released because they made their parole. Nice. Um, tool cleanup, which automatically finished, apparently. Nice. Um, cell block B. Ba-boom. Ba-boom. And we'll say that. We'll just go for a short-term investment for now. Anyway, so yeah, like... I don't know, I'm sort of in a situation, as we wrap this episode up, where, I don't know, I'm almost feeling like the only reason I'm still going is because I'm in my fourth year and I figure that I kind of have to go because I've already spent so much time and money and effort, which is kind of silly. I mean, if it turns out what I'm doing isn't what I want to do, I probably shouldn't be doing it. But, uh, yeah. I don't know, it's just one of those things, right? We will, uh... Is there even anyone in here? Apparently not. Or are there? One is in... Oh, one is awaiting solitary confinement. Okay. I feel like we might need more guards. Mostly because I do like a certain level of automation in my s prisons where, yeah. And it, it does sort of help with, like, keeping things suppressed and so forth. But we also found a digging tool, which means that someone was trying to dig out. Which, nice. Look at that hygiene being taken care of. It is glorious. And these two guys are just hanging out. 
But anyway, yes, I'm going to pause the game here because otherwise I'm going to forget to wrap things up. So for now, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, this is actually probably one of the cleanest and most effectively running prison that we have going so far. So I am very, very pleased with that. Let's take one last look at our logistics. Nine. What is this? Oh, that's just the cleaning cupboard. Then again, we might as well. Everyone who wants to work in the cleaning cupboard can work in the cleaning cupboard. We have five qualified prisoners, but I don't think they actually work there because we don't actually have any work periods that are set. But then again, we might. I don't really know how all that's going to work in the end. All I know is that we have a whole lot of stuff going on, and... And so far, things haven't been too bad. Uh, and only four drugs in the whole prison. And two medicines. So, I'd say we're doing pretty well. Anyway, yes, I'll wrap things up, so I will see you guys next time.